All right, guys. Here's a trip for you. You can either chunk these things up ahead of time, or do what I'm going to do here. Just cut a chunk off like that of muskrat. Bunch of guts. I don't really need those. Put that back in there. Throw our saws all back up in here. See my messy truck. All right, now we got to wire it up. Chunk of wire here. I like to wire my bait off. You might not. There you go. About we'll go about his arm. That way, if something chose to, let's see, where's our, put that to the bottom. Go about right there. If something chose to come in, you're not gonna just roll out with it super easy. I might be able to, to gnaw at it a little bit, but I need to put a trap tag on this trap. Alright, let's go set it. Alright, so right against the wing wall there, I have a 110 where that mink was running. He's just been all up and down this bank. I'm going to put it over there in that clearing towards the end. I also had another 110 just stuck in right here where he popped out once. But, uh, alright, let's go over there. Alright, so Wisconsin can't have sight exposed bait. I got it tucked in here. 120, anything coming along, we're gonna get it. All right, we got mink tracks all here, right there in the river. And we walked over a couple sets here, back here, so. Oh my gosh, guys, we got a mink. He's right there in my set. Yeah! Let's go check, uh, check this sucker out. Had another run there. I don't know why it's so bloody. Oh, he's there. He is. Oh, it's a nice one. Look at that. Oh, he's kind of froze up. That is awesome. First mink. Well, it's actually my second mink, but it's the first. Uh, First one that wasn't uh, eaten by hawks. That is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna set this again. I'll leave it out for a little bit, but that is that is just so cool. Set it right back over there. All right, you guys, you gotta check this out. I was uh, used to have a mink run set in here before I had to pull for vacation, but there's a little open water, and this mink has been busy. He's got all kinds of, or she, I mean, look at all these tracks running here. I'm not gonna step in any trail. But all down in here, those are all uh, tadpoles. There's a pile there, and a pile over there, and he's got a run. And he's been coming up out of this water. I got a 110 right here, so if he comes down, boom, got him there. I'm gonna try to figure out where else I can place this stuff. I'm gonna set this little opening up heavy. I got a number one here. Oh, I grabbed the strongest one of them all here.
finicky to work in these heavy-duty gloves. It's just the ever so slightest hair trigger. I don't really like this trap though. This would be a good one to get rid of, but let's see how we're gonna go about this. I think what we'll do is a we'll chain down around here. Put our trap. That one jaw just like that. I knew I should have grabbed one of them one and a halves. Oh well. I don't know what we're gonna do with this. So we got him covered there, coming out there. What we don't have him covered for is over this way. Boy, he was good at killing them things, wasn't he? Let's see. I wonder if we can just set this. That's how we're gonna do it. We'll just open this up just a smidge, not too much. And we are going to set this because I think he was diving under. So. I don't know how much. Golly. This makes me jump every time. Every time. See, it's not sitting all the way down. There. Still not sitting down on that side. Oh, new trap, new problem. Okay. I think what he's doing was going under right in here. So we're just going to set one. We'll get our spring just like that. Drop the chain down right there. I'll just wire it off. This is heavily set, but we want to catch a mink, so let's see what we're going to do. Alright, so we got number one and two one tens. And we got to get out of here without disturbing too much because we've already jacked up a bunch of stuff. Alright. Alright guys, so we're at this open water spot, 
that one Ted not touched. That number one still sitting there. But this this other one Ted looks like it fell or sprung. It looks like it just got tripped with nothing, I guess. Another bummer. We're going to reset it because it's going to stay warm. I can't believe that this, this mink is like a cat. Nine lives. He might have jumped down on it. Maybe we got to get it. A little bit. Chain and stuff pushed back down in there. Alright. Alright. Okay, so coming up, here's our open water spot. I see our mink. He's right here. Got him in the old 110. We're going to have to thaw this sucker out. He's kind of froze in there. Look at that. Look at it. That is so awesome. A nice mink. That's what we've been after. Oh, it sucks though that he's all iced in. Okay, let's. We'll just have to uh, thaw him out at the house out of this trap. Let's throw him up. Up there where we got better snow. It also means that we can. Pull these other traps because these spots are gonna freeze up. That, that worked out perfect. So let's go check out this mink box. I think this one will probably be empty because we got, got one right here. But... Yeah, so our mink box is empty. But we got us a nice, nice mink. 